what a lovely day. Not a cloud in the sky. So, good time to fit my fog lights then, eh? You never know. So we don't really get a lot of fog in Ontario where we live. It's not exactly 1920s London. So these are purely for show. Now some of you will really not like these but I hear there's some really good doctors that can fix your, your head and you'll learn to like these. So these my friends go in here almost like they were made for them. These are actually originally a vintage fog lights from something I have no idea. I picked them up in a swap meet a couple of years ago. They were originally my headlights and my rat rod. And I was going to use them in this but they're much smaller. So they're going to be fog lights. I put the yellow film on just to make them a bit more vintage looking. Hiya. Hi. Welcome to YouTube. You're being filmed. Sorry. Am I? <laughs> oh yeah. Well, if, if I turn if I turn the camera around you. Oh, while we were walking by, I thought you were tubing yourself. Oh yeah, yeah. I'm I'm tubing myself, but. Uh, Very nice. But if you happen to walk into my my shop, I ca you know I can't be held responsible. <laughs> <laughs> well, enjoy. Thank, Thank you. Well. Have a nice I'll day. Walking by and seeing the finished product soon. It will never be finished. Wow. <laughs> groupies. So as I say these will go in here but I do need to make brackets. These were the brackets I originally had on but uh, where they attach no longer exists so I need to make new brackets and I'm sure Aussie Jazz will just love that. He's He loves two things in life brackets and Lego. So I'm going to jack up the front and see where we can actually attach these two. Bear with me. Right, let's go underneath, see what we're dealing with. So, obviously, the fog light needs to go there. It bolts down the way, so I need a bracket that goes that way and up somehow. So, let's have a look. That's my frame rail end. And this bracket here goes to my radiator support bar, which I didn't paint. Need to get, need to get that sorted. Now, two options then. I can mount this fog light bracket up here somewhere, or I could mount it to this existing bracket, which makes far more sense because I can take the whole thing off and while it's off, I can paint it. So it needs to actually come along this way a bit and then down and then all the way across to there somewhere. Anyway, as you can see, I have my cushioned radiator support pill noodle. <laughs> I will find a use for anything, my friends. So I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to find some quarter inch steel, make a bracket that comes down this way along, add a couple of diagonal gussets. I don't want to make it too heavy, that would be crazy. But it does have to be solid, otherwise your fog lights are going to go up and down. Right, let's go and see what I can make. So I did some measurements, and it looks like I can use part of these brackets, right? I need to chop this off here, choppy choppy, bend that straight, and then I could probably use this section of steel that I cut off to go up that way. So I should be able to utilize these brackets in some form, and then I just have to add little, if that's going straight up, I need to add a little 
triangle that side and that side just to stiffen it up. Eh, we'll give it a shot. Remind me to paint these though, because they're going to get abused being right at the front and at the bottom of the car. Bracket time. Behold my modified bracket. It turns out I didn't need any gussets there. It's quarter inch steel, it's not going anywhere. Because that bracket is stronger than that bracket, so if that was solid, then it's more likely to bend the top. It's only holding on for the lights, it'll be fine. Right, let me throw this together and we'll see how it looks. Paint's still a bit wet, you know me, no patience. Okay, let's do this. Feels pretty solid. Let's get the lights on. And don't panic, I did do a test fit before I painted it. As long as nothing's changed. Where's my spanner? Back in a sec. Oh yes. Pretty solid. I mean, there's a little bit of vibration, but no more than the headlights. <laughs> Well, a closer look. Ah, uh, why not? We're here. I have left a little gap all the way around to avoid vibration. My wife was very specific about that. 
the same here it's a wee bit close on that side but i do have uh, adjustment on the bracket below that to bring it out a wee bit or i could just turn it i suppose i'm not looking for perfect alignment either as i say mostly for show i suppose we should get it off the axle stands and see how it looks in its full glory mission accomplished i like to see it at the end you know i want to do my cinematic thing so all done except for the wiring the wiring's actually in the car i just need to route some wires the switch is there everything was working before i changed it all so that's not going to be an issue so that's me for today i have some big news i know it's not that big it's not like andy's doghouse big but uh, I've got some news regarding the interior and also the direction I'm going to be going with paint. So you need to stay tuned for that. Well, subscribe, click the bell for notifications. But as I say, that's me for now. So thanks for watching. Uh, I hope you're happy. Aussie Jazz. I know you like brackets and Lego. Okay, take care everyone. I will see you during the week. We're supposed to have more weather like this all week. And then raining at the weekend. But that's okay. It's March for goodness sake. Take care everyone. Bye bye.